things about the bioengineering design of the water garden. Uh, we uh, we use some of techniques that and we that we've been working on, uh, with on several projects, um, where you kind of use um, a systems that were developed mostly in Germany um, called bioengineering systems, uh, where plants are made integral to an engineering approach to water body design and stream bank design. Okay, so it's sort of like the anti-Army Corps approach. Of course, now the Army Corps is the bioengineering too. But uh, in the old days, it was sort of just like crazy German hippies. <laughs> but it's actually all engineered, okay? So the idea is um, is you use uh, temporary uh, elements that uh, hold the soil together, uh, that decompose, and then interplant with plants with the idea that then the plants replace the temporary elements and it holds the bank together in a kind of natural template, right? So one of the things that we use there, and you might just be able to make them out around the edge of this pond, are something called Coir Fashine, C-O-I-R-F-A-S-C-I-N-E-S. Coir Fashines. And what they are is they're a roll of cocoa fiber uh, matting, okay, in about a foot diameter roll. Cocoa fiber takes years to decompose. Like They say the last seven years, I've seen them last longer than that. So you put these rolls like lint logs around the edges of streams and ponds and things like that. And you're able to make this really interesting planted edge because you can plant, put the soil right up behind it, works like a retaining wall. And then you can plant in that soil or right into the fascines, okay? And you can plant potted plants, plugs are, are seed or, or what we also did here, and you can see the willows over here, uh, live stakes. And so live stakes are just basically cuttings of, of plants that have a lot of adventitious shoots. Um, they don't have any roots, all just a bundle of sticks, right? And uh, they're collected and hopefully they're inserted in the ground in the right direction, right? Top up. And, uh, and then they sprout. Uh, so it's a very inexpensive way of adding that kind of reinforcement. So you'll see the live stakes over here by the lobelia, by the cardinal flower as well. Um, so we have the live stakes, we have the clear fascines, um, all, all used here. This is a lined pond, it has a clay liner underneath it, um, and, uh, and water is pumped up uh, into it uh, from the bottom pond to give us a little bit of flow so we don't get uh, at least too many mosquitoes. Um, and, uh, and it seems to work. Uh, and, uh, any questions?